Greetings, this is a, another collective love message. So someone here is wondering if you can keep up. <laughs> Unfortunately for them, you're not trying to keep up because you have elevated. You're no longer a page, a princess, a queen. You are now in the empress mode, which doesn't mean you're better than, it just means you adhere to a certain set of standards. You keep your hygiene in check. You watch the things that you put in your body. You watch what you expose yourself to, your mind, your eyes, your mouth, your just everything, your energy. You actually have conscious control over that. And you also give back. You give back. You are a humanitarian or you have a love for the environment, for nature, for animals. And this ticks someone off because they're trying to write you off as someone who is stuck up in this and that and you think that you're better than. No, 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 no couldn't be further from the truth. That is pure projection. You're actually a pure hearted person and you only want to deal with pure hearted things. So you deal with the environment, animals, helping others. Um, you know, you could be someone who has like volunteered with elder uh, or with children, or you've worked with children in some capacity or with animals, again, or with the environment. Um, someone here is trying to paint you out to be something you're not. They're also trying to make you keep up and they're trying to make you compete. And you're not about that competition life. Again, a husband and wife are not competition. They complement one another. And like Jean Jacquees says in the song, Your Peace, I'm just trying to be your peace. It's, they need to be your peace. Your relationship and your home is your place of peace. And so someone here in the dating world, it's like so easy. It's like, I just know it's not the one because they clearly don't want to be my peace. They only want some sort of uh, tension. They need this sort of tug of war sensation in their dating life to feel fulfilled, to feel excitement or aroused. And that bores you. It's like you're ready to enter your soft girl era. Or as a man, you're ready to enter, uh, you know, your daddy era. Okay, well, <laughs> keep, keep it at that. Um, so yeah, someone here is looking for a mom or a sister to fuss with and you just ain't about that life. So, and you just gracefully, you know, remove yourself because an empress does not just dis- explain herself at all. She she just flows away gracefully from a situation and respectfully and her silence says everything so someone here your silence says a lot um okay 888 is a strong number so again self-mastery you don't have you're not unreasonable you just want someone to take care of themselves to the level that you take care of yourself it's called equality it's called partnership you don't want to be doing most of the weight so if someone is gonna get upset because they feel like you're acting like you're too good or too this or that. It's basically someone who's upset because they can't measure up and meet you halfway. They couldn't measure up and meet you halfway. They couldn't be your equal. They are not on your level. And this has nothing to do with caste, with income, with height, with color, with anything like that. And that's another thing. Someone here could be so humble that they feel like someone is out of their league because the song Smile came through by Uncle Cracker. You're better than the best. I'm lucky just to linger in your light. Um, Someone here, if you're listening, you're like shorter than the person or you feel like someone would never date someone like you or it's like, like erase all of those thoughts. Those are disempowering thoughts because Spirit is saying, um, you know, the heart sees like heart. So someone here is looking for a like hearted connection and perhaps because of how they look or because of how they were raised uh, or, you know, the environment that they live in. It's like they're just not finding like hearted connections, but it is around the corner because with the smile song, uh, you make me smile like the sun, roll out of bed, sing like a bird, dizzy in my head. So you are going to know that you've met this person because you will not be able to stop smiling. You're going to go home, your cheeks are going to hurt because you're smiling so much, your roommate, your family, you know, people are going to be like, man, they're in a good mood. And it's going to be like that on both ends. So you'll know it's the person whenever you can't stop smiling or they can't stop smiling. It's going to be both of you can't stop smiling. Also the song, I Belong to You by Romy. So someone here is a friend. Say my lady, what's wrong with your boyfriend? Um, And that song, I belong to you. I give all my love. So someone wants to give all their love to you. And they've been in the friend zone for a while. Or perhaps they were a friend of yours uh, in the younger years, because I'm hearing, oh, thinking about our younger years, we were young and wild and free. Uh, so, so, So you and someone could have like, taken different paths, but they are coming across your profile. They're coming across you somewhere. You could be back in town. Um, and you know, they want to make a confession here. Now I'm hearing Usher confessions. All right. Next message will be coming up soon.